Hello all, welcome to part 272 of Core Java training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate the purpose of using string of args in main method. So let's get started. So why we have to mention string of args in main method or why we have to write this string of args in main method. So what is the reason? The purpose is to receive the arguments from command line into the Java program. Okay. With the help of this string of args, we can receive the arguments from the command line into the program guys, into the Java program. Let me practically demonstrate that for you. So for that, I'll be going to one of the folder in my computer. It may not be downloads folder guys. You can go to any folder. Let's create a new file, right click new. Let I'll create a normal text document guys. Okay. I'll open this document and in this document, I'll start writing the code of Java public class, some class name, let's say demo class. And this is the starting of the class and this is the ending of the class inside this class. I'll create a method that is main method, public static void main. So as you already know, we generally specify or write this string of ox in this main method as a parameter, right? String of ox. So here, this is a string array. And this is a variable of this string array. Okay. Now, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to receive this argument. For example, if this is a string array, the array will have the indexing concept, right? If you know Java, if you already know Java, you know that string array, the elements will be stored in the array in the form of uh, like uh, indexes. Okay. Based on the index. At the index zero, first element of the array will be stored. At the index one, second element of the array will be stored, and so on. So I'll write system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln. If I try to print the first one, arcs of zero. So arcs of zero like this. Okay, I'll put a semicolon here. Now you need to understand one thing, guys. Okay. So if I'm trying to print this arcs of zero, okay. So string array arcs of zero. The first uh, element of the array, which is available at the index zero. If I want to print, that means I need to pass this from a, where this is a parameter, right? This is a parameter in the main method, but from where I need to pass this uh, argument to this uh, parameter from the command line guys. Okay. So first I will save this program guys. First I will save this program. So here in the same place in the download, so I'll just name this as demo.java and say all files and save this, okay? And close this. You see the demo.java file having this particular code that I have written just now. I deleted the normal text file, guys. Now we have the demo.java file. So I will open this command from, from here. The Java is already configured in this machine. I'll open the command from, from here. I'll say Java C. I have to compile it before using it. If I don't compile and use, you'll get an error, right? If I say Java demo, you'll get a compile. You see, could not find or load the main class. Class is not there. Class will only come when you compile this demo.java file. How to compile? We have to use this command known as Java C demo.java. Like this, we have to give the name of the file dot Java extension. Java C means Java compiler. Okay, press enter. So let's see. It got compiled, guys. You see, a demo.class file has been created. This is a proof that the Java file got compiled with this command. Now I'll say Java demo. Okay. And I'll be passing one argument here. Okay. Because in, in the code I have written in the demo.java, I try to utilize the arcs of zero. Okay. One, one argument I will pass here. For example, I'll pass Arun from here. My name I am passing and press enter. You see, whatever the name I passed that got printed in the output. Now I'll edit this program guys. I'll edit this program open with again, notepad. I will say I'll, I'll modify this program where I want to not only print arcs of zero, but also I want to print system dot out dot print ln. Second argument also I want to print arcs of one, like that arcs of two, arcs of three, any number of arguments. Okay. If you have like uh, three, four arguments, let's say, okay. Let's say you have four arguments, four, four arguments you want to print. That means four elements should be passed from the command line, right? four arguments need to be passed from the command line to this string array parameter. Save this, save this and close this. 
And again, I need to compile, guys. This is a old uh, dot class file. I have to compile it again. Java C demo dot Java. First, I have to compile it. It got compiled. Now you say Java demo dot demo. That's it. Java demo. That's it. Okay. So I'm getting an error because you see at index zero out of bounds for length zero. I'm not passing any arguments. That's why it's giving an error. So I have to pass the arguments. How many arguments I need to pass? I'm trying to print four arguments, right? Four values I am printing. Four elements of that string array I am trying to print. That means I have to pass four values. Arun, Varun, Tarun. Okay. Be sure like this, four values I will give. Now I press enter. You see this time, you see all these four. That uh, arcs of zero, arcs of one, arcs of two, arcs of three, all got printed here. So I don't know how many arguments I'll be passing. Sometimes I'll be passing zero arguments at the time I'll get this kind of exception. Sometimes I'll be passing only one argument like Arun. Sometimes I'll be passing four arguments to overcome this problem of this kind of exception coming and all array index out of bounds exception coming. What I can do is I can do some changes to the program guys. Again, I'll open this uh, demo dot uh, Java in the notepad and modify the code like this. Okay, I'll write a for loop here. Instead of printing like this for int i is equal to zero, I less than ox of ox dot length case. Okay. I less than ox dot length i plus plus. Okay. I'm finding the size of this uh, string array. Okay. Uh, that is number of elements that are stored in the string array. I'm finding it out using the ox dot length. Length is a predefined variable of the array, as you already know. Here I'll try to print like this. Okay. System dot out dot print ln. System dot out dot print ln. I'll say arc of i, arc of i, okay? Like this, I'll print. So it will be kind of dynamic now. I can pass zero arguments or one argument or more than one arguments also I can pass because this for loop will only run if there are some arguments. And if there are more arguments, that many times this for loop will iterate. If there is only one, one argument passed to this uh, parameter, then only one time the for loop will run like that, okay? It's kind of dynamic now. Save this. Again, compile the program, guys. Okay. Whenever you change the code, just compile the code, uh, compile the program. Java C demo dot Java. Now say Java. I'll not pass any arguments. You see, I'm not getting any exception. Nothing is getting printed. Earlier we got this exception, right? When I don't pass arguments. What if I pass one argument? Only one argument. Let's Arun. Only Arun will be printed. Demo Arun Varun. Two arguments if I am passing. These two values should be printed by the program Arun Varun got printed by the Java, Java demo, Arun, Varun, Tarun, Bhaskar, Kishore, Ravi, okay, Neeraj, David, all these things, okay. Now, a lot of values are there, a lot of arguments I am passing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 arguments should be printed, guys, you see, Arun, Varun, Tarun, Bhaskar, Kishore, Ravi, Neeraj and David, okay. So this is how, guys, we have to uh, use a string of args in Java, guys. That's the purpose, okay? To pass the arguments from the command line into the Java program. If you want to pass something from the command line into the Java program, that's the reason string of args is mentioned inside the main method, guys, in the main method, okay? That's the purpose of the string of args in main method. You can pass this string arguments, okay? You can pass the string arguments to this particular parameter from the command line. Okay, by writing this kind of dynamic logic, you can either pass zero arguments or one argument or any number of arguments. And uh, you see, this logic will print as many number of arguments as possible, okay, that you are passing. So that's all for this session, guys. Okay, so hope you understood how to use the string of box in main method in this session. So that's all. Thank you. Bye.